Hey y'all, welcome back to What's for Dinner. If you're new, welcome. I am Paula. And I'd like to um, welcome you to follow me, all y'all, on Facebook, Instagram, and I'm on Pinterest as Cooking with Paula Darlene. I like to share my recipes as a hobby. I hope you'll enjoy them. Uh, please remember to subscribe. So that all y'all can get all the new episodes that are coming up. Okay, as you can see, we have the cabbages all chopped up, we have the bacon cooked, we have the garlic is chopped, we have the ground sausage is already, um, we went ahead and cooked it, we have the onions are sliced, we didn't dice them, we just sliced them, so uh, my husband's helping me today, so he just sliced them up into, um, we just didn't do really small, small pieces, or just regular size, almost like a Julienne style. And then we have bacon grease. Now the bacon grease is going to be used in two different areas. We're going to be making um, some Jimmy cornbread and we're going to be putting it in the skillet and then we're going to bake it so it's going to be seasoned with the bacon grease. And then um, the cabbage is also going to get a little bit of butter um, to help it cook. Alright, so we're going to begin. And so what we're going to do is we are going to put the we're going to put the pan back on the stove and we are going to add some butter and a little bit of baking grease. So I'm just going to use probably about, probably about a tablespoon or two, depending on what you're wanting. And then I'm just going to turn this down on to about medium heat right off. I don't want to like burn the cabbage. So my bacon grease is still a little bit hot. So we're just going to add just a little bit. I would say probably about a fourth cup of oil. And we're letting that melt. that's melting, we are going to add the cabbage in. It's good and hot. And we're just going to add it in. And we'll just fill the pot up with it. And now it's going to cook. We're going to make sure everything's stirred. Uh, there's some oil right there. Okay. We're going to make sure that the bacon, I mean the <laughs> cabbage, is going to be seasoned in the grease. And then I'm going to take the remaining of the, what's left of the bacon grease, pour it on top.
and we're going to let that cook for a few minutes and while this is cooking um, everybody does it different I'm going to throw my onions in with this while it's cooking uh, my husband would prefer to um, cook the onions first but I like to cook the onions with the cabbage um, it just for me it just seems to add more flavor I like to make sure everything gets kind of stirred around a little bit. And if you find that there's not enough butter or oil, just add more if you feel the need to do so. This is going to start sweating and cooking. There will be a lot of moisture come off the cabbage. And then I'm going to add my garlic as this is cooking. Again, this is all about flavor. And you can do it however you choose. Everybody has their own, own way of doing it. And I just keep mixing it until everything gets really good and seasoned with the oil and butter. Alright, I will be back. Okay, as you can see, the um, cabbage is starting to cook down really well. So, um, and what I'm looking for is that it's not so firm and it's kind of limp. Kind of got a lot of, like a lettuce texture type. You can tell it's wilted. So now I'm going to start adding the Rotel tomatoes. And you can choose to add it when you want. Just gonna let it cook a little bit with that in there. It's more or less like layers as you go, you're adding layers. Can't wait, it smells so good. Now, I've also added some black pepper and some salt in there to help it out. And I just use like a however much you want. I mean, you know, if you're a real big pepper fan, just add a lot of pepper just to your taste. Salt, same way. Alright, we're going to wait a few more minutes before we add sausage. Alright, so I have my rotel tomatoes in here for a few minutes, about 5-10 minutes or so. Everything's starting to really cook real well together, as you can see. And so now I'm going to add my cooked sausage, and I'm just going to add it in. And I used the grease from the sausage to the what was left of it. There wasn't much, but I added some of the remaining grease. I used one pot for everything to cook in. But there wasn't very much oil or grease that came from the sausage. It was all done in one pot. So. And, the, and the cabbage just absorbed all the flavors. All right, so now we're just going to let the sausage cook for a few minutes in with the cabbage. And depending on how fast you cook your cabbage, it's going to be up to you. But um, this is probably about a 30, 40 minute dish to get ready, um, just so that the cabbage can cook down. And then you want to add your sausage. Since the sausage is already cooked in it, it doesn't take as long. But I want it to kind of cook together a little bit to have the cabbage absorb the all the flavors from the sausage. I mean, there's a lot of flavors going on here. You have the cabbage, you have the rotel tomatoes, you have the onions, the garlic, all of that's coming together. And then on top of it, we've got bacon grease in there. And then now we're going to add the remaining of the bacon that we had 
cooked and we just we just crumble the bacon up in it you can't go wrong and all these flavors together are absolutely delicious And if you don't want to use the sausage, I use the sausage because this is more of a, kind of like a Louisiana type dish, you know. But if you want to use turkey, chick, ground chicken, whatever, I mean the sausage gives it a little bit of a kick. It's not major, it's not like, it's really mild. And with Rotel, it's mild. You want to add more, add some red pepper flakes to it, if you want to increase the heat. Or if you Thank you.